Right, so I'm now out for a walk with the doggos, uh, about 6-7k in. Um, such a beautiful sunny day, considering last time I did was in the snow. This is amazing. Gonna do uh, my usual sort of 10 mile circuit um, with these guys today. So, uh, guys who watched the last video, you'll probably recognise this bit. The last time the tide was out and it was all mud flats. And we're gonna go up here, sit on the bank, and eat some hobnobs. Sit. Thank you, puppies. You have a biscuit. Thank you. What an amazing day! T-shirt weather. It's amazing. And. Uh, was it 27th of Feb? Not bad. I'm probably going to get sunburn. Spring is definitely on the way, but I did hear there's supposed to be more snow due for Easter. That's probably just uh, vicious rumours. A minute to appreciate the state of Miss. Miss, Miss. Miss. This is, look at the state of that. Look at the state of that. Preston, Preston. Look, he's just one big matted lump of fur. You can't even get a comb for him at the moment. Not that he digs it, he's not one for being brushed. But, uh, as soon as it warms up a bit more, um, he's going to get sheared. Ever since he was a puppy, I've kept all of Preston's floof that I've shaved off him. From back when he was fully ginger, till he started, started to copy me and go <laughs> white and blonde. Um, but I've got it all in a cardboard box. And the idea is, because he mats, his fur mats so well, it's, it is like wool. Um, I've got a fleece and a box full of puppy floof. I'm going to mix them two together. Now, cockapoos, because of their fur, they are hypoallergenic. I don't know if there's a difference in their fur or the fact that they don't molt, but I ain't allergic to dog fur anyway, so I don't really care. Um, so I'm going to get to, together and then felt it and make some kind of blanket. So for next winter, hopefully, um, we can have a bushcraft smock Handmade, hand felted from puppy floof and wool. There you go. Is Miss gonna jump in the water? Yeah. Oh, Miss, look at you. Oh, Miss. Person's having a little drinky. I think the only reason having a drink is because the idiot was drinking salt water, the seawater. What's the worst that could happen? He'll get scurvy. So the wind farm is over there, so that's where we're going to finish coming back through the wind farm. At the moment, we're going to follow these taragraph poles all the way across there, or all the way around the woodland, and then follow the road all the way down, and then get the footpath. Two t whirly gigs.
<clears throat> I think this lockdown's been awkward because the weather's been so poor, but it has kept people indoors. So that's a bonus. So today, um, although I'm out on my own and socially distancing as much as I can, trying to stay away from all the people, that's what I mean. Middle of nowhere. The roads are ridiculously busy. Um, so if we went down, if I went down the seafront like I was earlier, out in the kayak, if I went down there today, it would be crazy. Middle of nowhere. So, this, one of these blooming Mylar balloons, so, that's going to hang around forever. Looks like a big Valentine's heart type thing, probably. But people, stop buying this crap. If you stop buying it, they'll stop making it. You just see the wind farm over there. So we was over there, come all around, around the woods and we're down the road. So we're going to follow the road till the footpath, till we meet the footpath again. And then off towards the whirly gigs. Is it exciting, Preston? Are you loving life? Preston? Preston? You loving life? No. Miss? Yeah. Miss looks happy. Preston just looks bemused. Doesn't know if he wants a shit or a haircut. Do you, Mr. Preston? Poor old Biffs. Uh, when I came through here in the snow, all of this was flooded, and it still is. So we're probably going to have some soggy doggies. Probably have a soggy meat as well. <coughs> so that was a request from uh, Nobby from Step Away From The Screens. All we want is for you to fall in. Cheers, mate. What do you want, Biffs? Out the way. Ooh, it's deep. He's deep, Mr. Piston. Good boy. Is that all cold on your willy, Mr. Vesson? <laughs> yeah. That's the sign from last week during cold conditions. Well, last week, week before, two weeks ago. Ice may fall from the turbines. Please proceed with caution. Uh, not a chance of ice falling off of these today. Wind's in a totally different direction as well. Interesting, though. No? We're going to wrap it up there. Um, probably another mile or so and I'm home but it gets all onto public roads and it's a bit boring so uh, leave a comment guys say hello and uh, give it a like subscribe if you can be bothered see ya